And I personally believe that part of us being creative artists is that we have to know how to maximize what we have and do more out of less. Alright? So, ang dami ko nang sinasabi, no? So, simulan ko na kasi baka hindi ito papasok sa 5 minutes. No? So, Yo, George here and a huge shout out to Dan for inviting me into this. I really appreciate it and I feel like I'm a big time YouTuber now. So <laughs> thanks Dan. Okay, for A-roll videos, of course, we always have to make sure that we look good on camera. So capturing me right now is the Panasonic Lumix G7. It's a pretty old camera but as long as it works, we're good. I'm always shooting at 4K to get the most quality out of my shots and of course, always at 24 frames per second. For my lens of choice, um, it depends on the situation. If I have a lot of space, I usually use my Lumix 25mm f1.7. It's a 50mm equivalent on full frame. But if I'm on a tight space, like right now, I'm using my Lumix 14mm um, f2.5. So that's a 28mm equivalent on full frame. Audio-wise, I am using the Saramonic SRP Mic 1, which came in free with my camera. So I'm still using it up till now. So I either boom it up top or just put it on front like right now, as long as it's relatively close to my mouth. So yeah. And for lightning, I actually have an Aperture Amaran 100D at home. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring it here, but I have to do this for Dan. So I have to make things work. So what I have here right now is my good old cheap softbox from Shopee with a 40 watt house, house bulb. Just a normal 40 watt house bulb. And it's not actually pointing directly towards me. I just blast it off the walls and just let the light bounce around wrapping, having this um, soft wrap around my face. For the lights on the background, I usually just add a few more lights just to, you know, add interest like this lamp right here. And then there's also a light up top for the fishes. Yes, our fishes have their own light. And this desk lamp right here, um, it acts two ways. It's a practical light as well as a backlight that's responsible for this outline that I have right here. So yeah, that's my little talking head set up on this little apartment. So, yeah, we just have to maximize and utilize whatever we have to make things work. So yeah, thanks Dan. Thank you again for inviting me in this video. So yeah, I hope okay lang naman to. Na. So yung camera na gamit ko dito is a Sony A6400 paired with a Tamron 17 to 70 to 0.8. Tapos, um, sa harap ng lens, meron ako ditong um, Haida Nano Pro Mist. Parang siyang Black Pro Mist. Wa, 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 wa. Ayun. After nung camera, meron naka-hook na external monitor sa camera. So, I'm using a um, Feel World F6 Plus. Ayun, this is my, uh, ayun, my head from boxes. Tapos, saka na rin siya ng tripod mount from boxes din. Ayun. Yung power ng camera, naka-hook siya sa ano, ito, may NTF760 dito sa gilid para, ayun, buong araw ako nag-record. Yung audio ko naman, merong dalawang route yung audio. So, yung unang route is yung main audio ko muna, ito. So, this one is a DT-D3 Pro. Tapos, nakakonect siya dito sa Tascam DR05X. Tapos, yung second, yung backup recorder ko naman is this one. So, ito naman, yung Mirfac WE10 Pro. Ayan, so, nakaklamp siya dito sa baba ko. Love lang. Tapos, um, nakahook siya sa Sony A64. Ayan, tapos, ito yung directional feed sa Sony. Lights, lights, lights. So, yung key light ko here is a Godox VL200. I chose this kasi meron siyang control box. Ayan, tapos meron ako itong parabolic softbox. Um, 70cm ata to 70. Tapos meron na akong grid. Tapos, sa likod nung ano naman, sa likod, ayan. Um, ito, dalawang um, Godox TL60. So, yun. Ito yung Godox TL60s. Ayan. Tapos, nakakontrol ko siya gamit ng remote. Ito, ito, ito. Gamit ng remote. So, yun. Pag gusto mo na parang, ano, uh, orange. Okay, yeah, parang violet. Ha? Pink. Ayan, it's red. Ayan lang, ayan lang. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Michael Bernales and I'm into travel films, video gears, and rooms. 
Uh, I want to thank Dan for this opportunity to share with you my gears, my lighting setups, and etc. Main camera that I use to date is an A7S III and I shoot in 1080p and just scale it in 4K. I also shoot in 24 frames per second, 10 bit 422 XAVCS. My go to lenses are the 24mm G Master and the 85mm Sigma Art lens. But I use the 24mm most of the time, I think 90 or 80% of the time, especially when doing vlogs like this one. As for my lighting setup, I use the Godox uh, SL60W for my key light and non light Pavo tube for my backlight. And the microphone that I'm using is the DT Video Mic D3. And I don't usually use uh, sound modifiers or enhancers, uh, I just usually use the raw footage of the uh, microphone. And so that's it for my setup and once again thanks Dan for this opportunity. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Justin and today Dan has asked me to talk to you a little bit about some of the gear I use for my own YouTube videos. So let's start with the one that you're looking at the screen right now. This is a DAT VMic D3 Pro. This is a shotgun mic and I use it for almost everything if not all of the videos on my channel. Normally I like using it plugged directly onto the camera and to do that I usually use a 3.5 millimeter extension jack but today I am using the Rode Wireless Go. Now if I am not recording straight onto the camera for some reason, for example I'm using a secondary camera and that one is recording its own audio, I use a Zoom H1n. This is actually also an external recorder but I use it as an audio interface. Now for my A cam. So the main camera I use is the Sony A7 III. This is a full frame sensor camera and on it i have the veltrox 24 millimeters f 1.8 fe lens now above the sony a73 you'll see this external monitor this is the field world ma master 5. for the next camera which is the one i'm shooting with right now i will be transferring this video all right now for the second cam i use or kind of my b cam i have the sony a6400 and on it is the sigma 16 millimeter f 1.4 lens i actually use the sony a6400 more for my talking headshots as my main cam because of the flip out screen i also have a third camera i use this is the dji pocket 2 mostly for overhead shots because this is super light yeah, so it's easy to stick there. I don't have to worry about balancing and everything. Now let's go on to lighting, which I think is also very, very important aside from audio. I am using the Godox SL60W as my main key light with a softbox. I also use a few pocket LED lights, one of which is the Aperture MC. Also, I just got sent a couple of other pocket RGB lights. So these are the WeLight SO3 pocket rgb led lights so yeah that is kind of the setup i usually go with my name is aldrin samson at ngayon ipapakita ko sa inyo kung anong camera ang gamit ko i'm still using the sony a7 III from the year 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 2018 this is the camera that i use for four years now professionally wedding videography photos video anything personal Yan ang gamit ko, still the Sony A7 III. And yung lens nga pala na gamit ko is the Sony 35mm f1.8. For the mic setup, I'm using a Cinco Mic D1 from Cinco. Kapag wireless mic naman, ang ginagamit ko is the Cinco W Mic T1, I guess. And for the monitors, I'm using the Deskview R5, which is really, really good. For the lights, I'm using the Godox FB150, which the best, by far, the best investment that I made. Lighting is the key, guys. Lighting. And for the audio interface that I'm using right now is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. So this is my temporary studio talking head shot. And that's it guys. Thanks for having me brother. Let's start with my camera. Ito yung ginagamit kong camera for my YouTube channel. This is the Lumix G85 from Panasonic. This is a microphone third system. Ito yung power horse ng aking uh, video production. And yung lens na ginagamit ko is yung kit lens ng camera na to. This is the Lumix 12-60mm. Ang pinagusto ko dito is lightweight sa articulating screen shot. Next, 
Ito yung lens na ginagamit ko for B-roll. This is the 42.5mm from Lumix. Next up, punta naman tayo sa mga audio equipments na ginagamit ko. So, the first one is tong microphone. This is the Panasonic Electret EM2800A unidirectional microphone. Ang um, kapartner nito para maging mas maayos yung tunog is itong Saramonic Smart Rig 2 na preamp. Itong Saramonic Smart Rig 2, kailangan niya ng 9 volt battery. So, bumili ako ng 9 volt battery na rechargeable. This is the best to in 650 mAh micro USB 9 volt battery. Another thing na ginagamit ko for my YouTube videos, lalo na sa pag check ng audio, is itong headphones na to. This headphones is from One Audio. As you can see, yan, One Audio A70 yung model. And ito yung humahawak dun sa microphone ko. Ito yung magic lamp. So works dito sa tripod na ginagamit ko. Ito yung tripod na ginagamit ko for my cameras and my audio. This is the KNF Concept tripod. Model niya KF-28. Ngayon naman guys, punta tayo sa ilaw na ginagamit ko. Ito yung aking key light or yung pinaka main light na ginagamit ko for my YouTube. This is the yung new YN300 Pro version 3. Nasa loob to ng Godox Octobox para mas lalong mag ano yung light niya, mag boom yung light niya. And yung background lights ko, Ito yung ginagamit kong background light and this is from Lasco. Ang pangalan nito is Lasco Nordic Table Light and ito yung nagsisilbing background light ko for my channel. Alright, so I am Nico Bolante and for my YouTube setup, I use an A7S 3 and a Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter lens. Alam ko, alam ko. Uh, Overkill yung A7S3 para sa YouTube. Uh, pero pagbigyan nyo na ako, nabudol ako ng mga content creators sa US. And uh, alam mo na, talagang hilig natin ng camera gear. So, napabili ako ng A7S3. Now, when it comes to my audio here in my talking head videos, I mainly use this. This is the Shure MV7. But sometimes when I want to move around the house, pag umiikot ako dito, I use the Mirfac WE10 Pro. It's a, a wireless microphone, a dual, dual mics, dual channel. So ito yung transmitters. This is the receiver. Uh, and sometimes I put this on a parang mic, uh, handheld mic. So yeah. Now when it comes to lighting, I use the Godox SL60 as my key light. Light up sa inyo. So that is my uh, Godox SL60 with a uh, softbox na my honeycomb grid. So, palamig. Kita na yan siya. Okay. And for the light at the back, that is the Photix M500R. So, yun yung nagbibigay ng kulay sa buhay ko. Joke lang. Ng kulay sa background ng set para hindi lang siya plain, hindi lang siya white um, yun. medyo may konting ano na, kaartehan sa likod so basically that is the equipment, the gear that I use in my talking head YouTube videos so yun lang naman dan excited din na makita yung gamit ng mga ibang tao dito first of the three things that I'll be sharing you right now is the camera that I use actually I came from Nikon pero dumating yung panahon na gusto kong mag-explore ng bagong system so I borrowed and tested out Canons I even borrowed full frame Sony's but later on I ended up choosing Fujifilm for five reasons first it's fun to use and second reason is Fujifilm's Kaizen principle third is image quality fourth is the price it's not that expensive and fifth it looks really good all right enough with my camera this is not sponsored by Fuji this time let's talk about my audio equipments first is my studio monitor or my monitor speakers this is the PreSonus Aries 4.5 I chose this because at its price point this is the most professional sounding speakers next is my headphones this is the Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pro it's an open back headphones and again same reason with my speakers 
the sound that this thing produces is reliable and top-notch. Next is my audio interface. What I use is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 and this is the third generation. It's not the best audio interface out there but I chose this for same reason. It's the best at its price point. And lastly for my audio equipment is my microphone. This is actually a European brand. It's called Lewitt MTP 250 DM. I chose this because it sounds good and it's not that expensive. And I also have a Shure SM58. It's already a 20 year old microphone but it still sounds excellent. Alright, actually this is the future me. Kagabi when I was about to discuss the last part of my sharing, um, hindi ko alam na hindi na pala nagre-record yung camera ko. But anyways, itong last part ng sharing ko is I believe the most boring part kasi it's about my lighting setup. Um, very basic lang. I have a ring light as my key light and a cheap lamp as my fill light. So I think that's it for my sharing. Hi brother Dan. So for my talking head video, sometimes I use my Sony A7S III with a Sigma 24-70mm f2.8 lens. But most of the time, I use my Sony A6500 with a Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens which I'm shooting right now and also I'm shooting in SLR3 4K 25fps and for my audio I use my Tascam DR10L and I am also using an external monitor which is the Real World 4K monitor and for my light I am using Godox ML60 and some practical light. Kumusta kay lahat? This is Carms and today I'm going to share to you what gear I use for my YouTube videos. Unang-una sa lahat ang ginagamit kong camera yung Sony A6400 at ito yung napili kong camera kasi meron siyang 4K um, so yun, nagsushoot ako ng mga talking head katulad nito in 4K at kung may kailangan akong slow-mo, meron naman siyang 1080p na 60 frames per second at saka 120 frames per second. So yun, ginagamit ko yun minsan kapag mga gusto ko ng B-roll na slow motion. At isa pa sa mga nagustuhan ko sa Sony A6400 ay meron siyang picture profile na HLG. So mas medyo mas madali gamitin kasi yung HLG. Sa aperture, I always use the widest aperture of my lenses. So, ang ginagamit kong lens ay ang Biltrox 23mm f1.4. Kapag gusto ko ng much wider na angle, ay ginagamit ko yung 16mm ng Sigma na f1.4 din. So, I always shoot in wider. So, f1.4 lagi. Sa lighting naman, I use my Godox SL60W na naka softbox na may honeycomb grid. So, siya yung key light ko. And for my backlight, um, eto isa lang siyang lamp para magkaroon lang ng ilaw tong um, gimbal props. Yung, kumbaga para mabuhay yung props dun sa likod ko. So, ginagamit ko tong lamp. So, yan. Ito siya. And dito naman, ang ginagamit kong ilaw ay yung isang LED light na merong wrapping paper. <laughs> yung pang yema. So, ayan. Para magi siyang blue and magkaroon sila ng separation. Sa microphone na ginagamit ko, I use the um, Synco Mic D1 na nakakabit sa Zoom H1N. Um, mas gusto ko kasi siyang nakakabit sa Zoom H1N. Pero minsan ginagamit ko siya diretso sa Sony A6400. So, yun Ito lang. yung ginagamit ko for my YouTube video. So, yeah. Thank you. Umula na. First of all, thank you, Dan, for inviting me here sa collaboration na to. And I'm so grateful na mapasama sa video na gagawin mo. So for my video setup, I'm just using my EOS R with uh, 1080p resolution settings with 24 FPS. So ang setting ko ngayon is, for my shutter speed is 1 over 40. Then I'm using the RF 50mm f1.8 as my main camera A roll for sit-in vlogs. So, I'm using f1.8. Then, my ISO is 400 because that's the native ISO of the C-Log profile of this uh, Canon EOS R. So, for my second lens, when I shoot outside, I use this RF 24-105 and f4. So, 
FL lens. Okay naman siya. My travel photos, landscape, food photography were shot on this lens and I really love this lens. And for my casual vlogging, I'm using this Canon EOS M50 as my main go-to setup because it's light, compact, and perfect for my run and gun. Because as you may know, kapag ka nagbablog ako sa labas, I don't care kung ano yung mga magiging settings sa camera ko. Just, I just trust this na magiging okay exposure or kalalabas sa ng video ko. So that's all for my camera. For my mic, as you can see, I'm using a level your mic here. This was um, sponsored by CK Mova Philippines, so I'm just using this lapel. But back then, I'm using this Shure SM57 as my overhead mic, like uh, right above here, and connected to my Zoom U24 audio interface. Dapat kukunin ko is Focusrite, but wala silang stuck back then on 2020 pandemic. So, Ito, ito yung nakuha ko. Lastly, for my lighting, I have the 150-watt LED light from Yake Photo. So, meron lang siya 120cm na softbox right above here. Wait lang. Yeah, there you go. That's the softbox. I think that's it. Thank you, Dan, for inviting me here. And more power to you. And more content and more views, more subscribers. That's all, that's all. Thank you, Dan. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Jong. It's Bad again para sa isa na namang video na kung saan tatalakayin natin ang iba't ibang mga bagay na ginagamit ko sa mga sit-down interviews, both personal uses, vlog purposes, and professional uses. So syempre mag-uumpisa tayo sa ating camera na ginagamit ngayon. Here is our Canon EOS R6. Um, commonly ko siya na ginagamit for client purposes, iba't ibang videos, and since it's my first ever camera na mayroong... 4K and kaya ako siya ginagamit ngayon. So, ang lens na gamit natin is the Sigma 30mm f1.4. Okay? Um, itong lens ito is gamit siya for crop sensor lenses pero since adapted siya sa ating EOS R6 using the EF to RF adapter is magagamit natin siya and nalelesen yung vignette niya compared to DSLR bodies ng Canon. So, na-monitor tayo ngayon. As you can see, we are using the Atomos Ninja V for our external recording and it is also an external recorder for our future uses like shooting in progress or some sort of like raw video like that. And also, um, ang audio natin ngayon is meron tayo dito. Yan, meron tayong Deity D3 Pro and connected siya sa ating Rode Wireless Go. And ang ating lightings is kung may kita nyo sa likod, meron tayo dito ang dalawang Godox SL60 watts and meron tayo dito ang Nanlite FS200 na nakalagay sa ating 60x90 na softbox from Godox which is nakalagay siya sa dito, sa grid. Okay? So, ayun lang yung mga common na ginagamit ko for this type of videos and upgraded things and upcoming videos sa ating channel sa 2022. Maraming maraming salamat po. Let's go! Hi guys, my name is Glenn from Gmail Films. And by profession, I'm an art producer of a TV station, a freelance motion designer, creative director, video editor, and videographer. In short, uh, filmmaker. So I'm going to share with you my simple setup. So right now, I'm here in my workstation slash editing room, or in short, I call it ER. At the same time, this is also my place where I set up my YouTube talking head like this. So I want to share with you guys the gears that I'm using during my talking head setup on my YouTube channel. So the camera that I'm using right now is a Fujifilm X-T4 with the Desview R5 so I could see myself and check my framing. And for my Cam B is Fujifilm X-T3. So the lens that I'm using right now is Fujinon 18-55 2.8 which is a really great kit lens for a Fujifilm. And the other lens which is mounted with my X-T3 is the Viltrox 23 1.4. And for my audio setup, right now I'm using with the Audio Technica ATR2500 which is recorded directly in Adobe Audition. And with my other microphone which is my Rode Mic NTG4 Plus which is connected from my audio box USB 96 as my audio interface from Presonus for my backup audio. And for my lighting setup, 
I'm using GVM 800D for my key light right here. And by the way, this is also a uh, RGB light. And for my fill light right here is RGB light stick. Okay, I also bought it in Lazada. And lastly, for two accent lights right here is a LED mini flat bar light. Anyway, this is really cheap for only 500 to 600 pesos. I bought this also in Shopee. Shopee, bakana man, charot lang. At this point, allow me to share my setup and the gear that I use for my channel. For the camera, I use Sony A7 IV plus Sony 20mm f1.8 G lens. This is also the setup I use for my unboxing videos because it's wide and it has that fast aperture to give that depth and separation from the background. And just sometimes I also use a field monitor to better see myself while recording. I use the Portkeys PT5 field monitor with a blue shape and PF battery. That's basically for my A-roll shot. Then for the B-roll shots, I use either the Sigma 85mm f1.4 DGD and art lens or I use the Sony 50mm f1.2 G Master lens. Now moving on to the audio accessory. For my talking head videos, I use the DTV Mic D3 which is set up like a boom mic just right out of the frame. It's connected directly to my camera so I don't have to sync it in post. But other than the DTV Mic, I also use the Mirfac V10 Pro dual transmitter wireless microphones. This is what I use for pretty much everything other than my talking head videos. For my tripod, I use the Benro Go Plus with a Joby ball head. For the main light, I use the Godox SO60W with a 95cm octagon softbox. And for my practical lights behind me, one generic study lamp and then one dry cabinet. And that's pretty much it. Puna sa lahat, Happy New Year everyone and I would like to say thank you to Sir Dan for giving me this opportunity to be in his YouTube channel, the Don Boxing PH. Congrats and more power to you sir. And by the way, um, sorry for the short notice but yeah, let's do this. <laughs> and for my main camera by the way, I am using the Sony a7 III and the Slug 2 profile. For the lens, it's the 35mm f1.8. And for the audio, I am using just a cheap XLR microphone from Amazon. I think I bought it for 50 euro and I wired it directly into an audio interface. What is an audio interface? It's the one that is converting my analog voice into digital so that it can be recorded into a laptop using any software just like an Adobe Audition. And after that, if I have that file, I will sync it by post using Premiere Pro from the footage that I have on my main camera. And the output is like this, talking head video online content. So yeah, that's it. A basic um, talking head video education for you guys and I hope you find it a little bit interesting or informative. And if you have some questions, hit me in the comment section. Just address me with my name, Ben, and we would be really, really glad to answer all of them. Okay, maraming salamat ulit and ingat po tayo lagi. Bye-bye. Okay, so first of all, thank you, thank you, Dan Boxing PH for, for including me sa video na to. So my main camera, diretso na ako ha? So my main camera is the Sony A7C. Primary lens is my Tamron 17 to 28. Kakakuha ko lang neto. Si Dan yung may kasalanan neto, but ganito yung rig natin ngayon, which is the Sony A7C, and then yun, binenta niya yun sa kanya. And then I'm left with the Sony A7C, and then ngayon, napapaisip na akong go sa R6 or sa A7 IV. So nonetheless, that is my main camera and my primary lens. Now, my secondary lens, which I usually use for B-rolls, montage, and whatnot, is, kasalanan pa rin ni Dan, is the Tamron 28-75 to G2, which is what I have here. This one, and then, my next lens naman, I usually use this for portrait B-rolls, or kung gusto ko talaga yung mga cinematic look. Lower f-stop, that is the Viltrox 85mm Mark 2 1.8 Kasalanan pa rin ni Dan to But bumili ako neto And then last lens Would be The 7 Artisan 60mm 2.8 Mark 2 Macro lens This was given by my girlfriend So I'm very very thankful Sa lahat ng product shoots ko And all Maybe food Photography soon Eto na rin yung gagamitin ko So basically that is my main 
gears kumbaga and I have here my audio and my vlogging camera which is the Sony hindi to Sony the Sony the GoPro Hero 9 with some ND filters and then the adapter here para maka-attach ako ng microphone for better audio speaking of microphones I have here the Mirfac N2 this is my main vlogging microphone this is very compact and also my backup microphone which is also a wireless microphone these or this is the Mirfac Audio We 10 Pro and for my studio mic naman I'm using it right now this is the Moza Mirfac Audio NP10 which is attached to my Saramonic preamp which I forgot the model. It's the XLR to TRRS and I have this road adapter para makonek ko dito sa camera ko because the preamp is for mobiles or TRRS outputs only. And lastly, my light, my main light, key light is the Ambitful FL80 RGB which is attached to my parabolic ba ganito? Which is my light dome na lang with double diffuse softbox and honeycomb grid which is the Ambitful QDP70. I have my hair light up top which is also by Ambitful which is the Ambitful A1. Practical lights on the side which is also Ambitful and of course that way, the dope squa ah, neon sign, mabuhay kayo, hilaan pataas. And I think I've covered up everything, Dan. Thank you, thank you for this opportunity. Salamat at nabil lang ako sa listahan mo. More power to you and your channel. God bless and advance congratulations or belated, depende kung kailan mo to i-upload on your wedding. So, God bless sa inyong dalawa. Stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace!